All right, hi, Blind Dads. It is Sunday afternoon, and we are at uh, Sombrero Beach here on Marathon Key. And let me show you how busy it is. Super busy. Yep. Really busy. Actually, it would be busy on a normal Sunday because right now everybody is at the Marathon Seafood Festival, 46th annual. And so now we're over here at this uh, wonderful, I mean, this is one of the best parks I've ever seen um, and going to parks. Uh, the City of Marathon did a great job in the renovation of this park as well as um, Sombrero Beach. So let me turn around. So there's parking on each end of the main entrance of the beach over here. I'm going to take you to one of the areas. So. Um, the landscaping, I mean, it's beautiful here. I love it. As you enter, you've got a couple pavilions over here. And then as well as a nice bathhouse, including uh, water fountains. There's your showers right over there. Yet another pavilion as we walk down this way. And they have nice walking paths. I mean, from what I can see, it goes all the way down to the end where the volleyball courts are. Now, we entered over here, and it's open from uh, dawn to dusk. I'm not going to show you yet the beach, because we're taking a look at the park. So, here's the park for the kids. Again, here on this uh, March, here in spring break, it is gorgeous weather, so no doubt in the summer it gets super hot around here. You don't have the they have the tropical breezes, but we've got this cold front, so it's keeping it nice and cool. And they put a tarp over it, and that's good. It keeps the plastic from overheating and burning the kids. There's more of the pavilion right over here, and they have a second bathhouse. That yellow building right over there on each end of the main entrances. You can see the palm trees are waving in the wind as well as the coconut trees and just right off the distance you can barely see it through the trees. I can't wait to show the beach. We're gonna walk all the way to, from one end to the other. Again another pavilion right over here. You can see they kept the original trees. There's a banyan tree right over here. So there's a couple of entrances to the beach. I'll give you a quick glimpse. Ah, there it is. They got two volleyball courts. So Sombrero Beach is pointing towards the Atlantic or the eastern part of the um, island. Sombrero Key Lighthouse, huh? General George Meade. Okay, I gotta read this. Sombrero Key Lighthouse was built in 1858 by Captain George Gordon Meade, later General Meade of the Civil War fame. It was built to warn ships of shallow waters near Florida Reef, which is the third largest living reef in the world. This 156 foot lighthouse was automated in 1960 and was lit, by, uh, and was lit till 2015. The light was posted on 30 foot pole nearby to replace it. And there's the different light keepers. Oh, George Mead in Florida. So it looks like over here. Ah, let's go. So 
So it looks like they have a little dock over here. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, look. Oh, they have a diff, ooh. There's a more secluded part of the beach on this side. We're in the middle. See people are fishing, see how shallow it is. This is a very, very small dock. At least it goes into the Atlantic Ocean. Look at the water, everybody. Crystal clear. Now the water's been stirred up because of the uh, ocean breezes. It's about blowing about 20 miles an hour. You all right, sir? There's dark spots right out there. That's where the seagrass is. There's a little lagoon right over here. So now we're gonna walk to the beach from one end to the other. So I guess uh, these 34 poles used to be the lighthouse. One of the things I like about this beach already is more natural. So you can see some of the trees they've left. If you go to beaches like in Key West, one of the more famous ones in Key West is Smathers Beach. I don't like Smathers Beach, I'll tell you why. The sand over there is very, very coarse and uh, it doesn't feel good on your feet. And to me, Smathers Beach doesn't feel like some of the normal beaches that I've ever been to. spoiled because if you've ever been to Siesta Key Beach, Panama City Beach, uh, Clearwater Beach, any of those white sand beaches, you know, they can't compare to those beaches. So uh, I'm a beach snob when it comes to that. Now, what we're coming up to here, it's a little rough. I'm going to put my, my shoes because if you can see right in front of me, this is not sand. So this is the hardened um, what they call coquina. It's very, very rough and sharp. So I have to be very careful. You gotta wear shoes. So people are fishing off of this area right over here. So as we're standing on this part of the beach, again, there's the volleyball courts and one of the beach uh, bathhouses, and we're going to walk all the way down there. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's get rid of these. And start walking on the beach. Here we go. Now, even though we're in the queue, yo, that's cold. Even though we're in the Keys, it's still March, everybody. The water is not yet warmed up. Now, the city, no doubt, is taking great pains to making this beach more inviting for visitors. Again, going up and down the Keys, there's really not a lot of nice beaches that you could um, visit due to the fact that you're, you're on a key. So not sure if this sand has been brought in for the enjoyment of this uh, Sombrero Beach. So Marathon is probably one of the, what we call the middle keys. And if you wanted to enjoy a day at the beach, Sombrero Beach um, definitely is a place to come to. There's 
So right out there is the Atlantic Ocean. There's a little sailboat out there. And it's gusting about 20 miles an hour, so it's pretty windy out here. Now, as I said before, we're very fortunate to be here in the Keys. Right now it's a, it's not even balmy. <laughs> cool breeze, 70 degrees. Every place else is, either you got snow or it's cold where we're from, Jacksonville, Florida, it's about 20 or 30 degrees up there. So, I mean, we're loving it. Again, not knowing the total story about Sombrero Beach, as you can see, here's more of this rock formation on this side of the beach, and then about, I don't know, maybe that's a quarter of a mile that way, is the other end of this type of rock. Again, this rock was formed and solidified from coral and sand and hardened. So this beach is tucked in between residential area over there and residential area on that side. Now, for purposes of probably the beach, not sure if these holes were man-made or due to erosion, they're natural but they're literally potholes in the rock. Well, that's interesting. Check that out. You know what that is? That's coral. That's fossilized coral right here. Wow, that is neat. I've never seen anything like that. Never seen this at the Keys before. So, it's very interesting. Again, I gotta be very careful with not hurting my no doubt it's low tide right now. High tide as it comes up, probably comes up high as this. And let's go ahead and show you the rest of the beach this way. Again, again, I told you before, here's the natural, um, natural nature of this particular beach. Come through the trees. And now we're on this end of the beach. So like I said before, let me take off my shoes and walk down this side of the beach. So this is more of a lagoon area. So I guess you'd say there's three ends of the beach, four ends of the beach. As I said before, I think this is the fourth or fifth entrance right over here on this side that goes to this area where again that rock formation is.
and Sombrero Beach butts up against the house right over here. All right, let's take a look one more time. I want to see those formations over here. All right, let's see what this is. Look at all those um, snails. So I guess this is what we call Florida's ebb tides. Like if you've ever been to California, there's tons of these because of the rocks. So if these, this came off. And these, these things are all over the place. So yes, it is low tide and once high tide comes in, then all these different critters come alive. And there's the rest of the beach. All right, so we're gonna walk back, get to the center, and then we're gonna finish up our video. All right, I'm pausing it right here. All right, here's that entrance I was talking about. And again, plenty of space to open up and have a picnic on the grass, or maybe have a barbecue underneath um, the pavilions right over here. You can see the houses on the other side. Beautiful beach houses along this area. This tree is the sea grape tree. And then that yellow building over there, one on each side, are the uh, bathhouses and restrooms. Here's the other view. Beautiful. You can even wash off your feet right over here. Again, they close this park for, it's not open to everybody. After a certain time, they close the gate, lock it. Imagine having a house across the street where your backyard is a park and a beach. Plenty of trees in the shade. It's beautiful down here at Marathon Key at Sombrero Beach. And we're ending up right where we started at the beginning. So as you can see, it took uh, somewhere around 20 minutes to walk the entire area. Beautiful. There's the main entrance right over there. And then there we go. The Atlantic Ocean and Sabrera Beach. All right, everybody, if you like what you see here at Blab Dad, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Share this information. YouTube can come to Marathon Key. Here on spring break, gorgeous 70 degrees and a breeze. Love it here at Sombrero Beach. All right, everybody, see you at our next stop.